Hey guys, Merry Christmas. Um, it's Christmas evening and I have one more box to unwrap. So this came in uh, Christmas Eve, but I haven't gotten a chance to open it up. Um, so it's just been sitting here waiting for me to get home. Um, and I'm pretty excited to get into it. Um, I think it's pretty well packaged. Um, and it's the most interesting guitar packing job I've seen uh, because it's actually two box tabs within each other. I'm not sure where this kind of box configuration comes from, but looks like it's well done and I like that uh, the seller um, added these fragile stickers. So good job, eBay seller. All right, so. Anyway, let's get into it. Let's see how difficult it is to get this bad boy out. Oh, I didn't even mention what it is. So today we have a GNL S500, which I've never played one, never seen one. Um, generally, it's a Stratocaster style guitar with um, with MFD pickups. But this one's been upgraded with. Lindsay or Lindy Freyland Vintage Hots, which I've never played or heard. So that's cool. I know they're supposed to be pretty rad. Alright, I think we've almost got enough tape undone. Maybe. Alright, now we've got enough tape undone to see it. So, the box makes a little bit more sense to me. And it has been sent in its original case. This is a 1999 GNL. I'm going to pull this out and set the shipping box aside. Very well packed. Lots of foam. I like it. Alright, let's open it this side up. Uh, the case looks like it's in pretty good shape, a little bit of warping, but nothing to be too alarmed. It's a lot thicker than I thought it would be. I've got a Juno ASAT Blues Boy in the case as much thinner than this one. It's a bit newer though, it's a 2007 or 2006. Cool, let's bring this over and take a look. Alright, so this shipper sent <laughs> put little pieces of foam underneath the strings. Guess he didn't want those rattling or vibrating around. Gets a little bit of corrosion on the saddles, but it's alright. Knobs feel okay. Um, the pickups, pickup guard screws look like they're a little bit corroded, but that's fine too. It's got a maple, uh, maple neck rosewood fretboard. Um, one thing he did note in the auction is that we've got some fret wear. And honestly, it looks worse than it feels. Uh, actually, it's pretty bad. So we'll have to address that. But it's a headstock, looks pretty great. Genome neck plate. I'm surprised that the pick guard is white and the, the back guard is black. That's interesting. See what else we have in here. Um, strap lock buttons. It's nice that he included those. Whammy bar. Pretty. Okay, so this whammy bar tightens down with an Allen wrench.
and then this is probably just a tag that was included and it's kind of hard to go through envelopes one-handed let's see what we got certificate of authenticity this is a california gnl limited warranty so just some cool paperwork i love it let's see more paperwork neat i didn't realize that these guitars came with uh, with this piece of paper. I've seen that online in P PDF format, but... Oh, and some more tags and a sticker, I assume. Very cool. And there may be one more thing. Just a tag. Neat. Alright, well thanks for watching. This is my new GNL S500 guitar and I look forward to doing, I'm going to try to do a video uh, to address this fretware, um, show how to fix that. Hopefully it doesn't need to be refretted or something. I've never really done it before, but I'm going to learn how. Um, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.